Hiya. I thought I'd do another video because um, I found something out with quite interesting which affects all of us and um, it's something that we all can do. We, you know, we can all take our power back and change our reality from just this information alone. So there's la layers and layers of control over, over us um, from where we project from to here. Um, and um, I was working on a gentleman um, earlier on and um, I was deprogramming his brain. So I deprogrammed the body and connected him up to natural energies to, you know, disconnected him from moon matrix and then um, I started to like delve into the brain and they, the brain is in different segments so they, they program different parts of the brain and um, to do different things other than the natural, the natural thing the brain would do. And um, when I was looking right at the, the back of the brain here, yeah, I don't know what, I'm not a neurologist so I don't know what the name of this part of the brain is, but um, I, um, I, I went into it and I didn't see the program at first, but what I did see was a parasite inside the brain. It was like this big fat worm wiggling around. So I, was like, so I took it out and then um, I then saw the program. So I went back in into the matrix and I, part of his consciousness was in a program and the program was him, I saw the consciousness in the room and the, and the consciousness was looking at a mobile phone, like with his eyes. And he was just standing there with his mobile phone, but he was also, the consciousness was tapping himself at the back of the head, like that. And um, I said to this gentleman over the phone, I said, um, do you tap? yourself at the back of the head do you do you hit yourself and he was like no he said oh but I do scratch myself um at the back of the head a lot he said I've done it for years I said did that start happening when you um got a mobile phone and he and he was unsure he said I've had it for years and I've had this itchy thing for years years as well so anyway, I took the consciousness out of the programming and out of the matrix and started to clear it up. And when I started to clear the consciousness up, loads of parasites came out of the head of the consciousness, like this octopus and everything like that. And I'm like, what is going on? This is disgusting. So I asked the question, how did these parasites get here? Then I was shown that the technology, the, the phones that we look at are connected to the antennas, yeah? And then they, they don't go straight to the phones, they go through our heads, through our brains and connect that way. Um, and these develop these parasites, but these parasites live off uh, this, this phone energy, whatever technical word you want to call it. Um, so the um, the energy of that and then these parasites grow and then live off it and that's the addiction we're not addicted to the looking at the phone the parasites need their food yeah because every time we look at the phone we get hit with this um energy and um so anyway i started so i went back um to look at the consciousness um because i cleared him up and i was like oh what what will he do now you know what what type of consciousness is he? What what does this brain normally do? You know, it's been the program to be addicted to a mobile phone. Or what is its natural natural way of um, being? And he started to show me enjoy life and interact with life rather than looking at life. And um, it's our, also our energy. There was a lot of energy, so he sprung into energy and started to enjoy life. And and a lot of his personality started to shine through. So, um, which puts us in a situation that these phones, um, the phones that we look at, that we also give our children to and everything like that, um, cause parasites in the brain. Not only that, but um, they cause a black um, energy around the brain and around the spinal cord. And this projects into our reality and keeps us in a very low, uh, like a suppressed vibration so when i when i asked what it does to him i just saw a smoke over his reality all around his reality where it was dense where he couldn't see color consciousness as well 
And when he came up out of this um, smoke, the colour, like reality became a lot brighter. It reminded me of, um, you know, the film Avatar, where he, um, he starts to see consciousness. It is not seeing the forest anymore, but he's seeing the plants come alive and everything like that. Everything sort of turns HD and colourful and... Um, and it's like he was stepping into another reality. His, uh, it was a lot lighter, a lot brighter, and he could see the consciousness again. Um, yeah, so I'm looking, for his, looking forward to hearing from him in the next few days and see how his reality changes, and I'll update you. So anyway, okay. Um, yeah, there's a lot more to do on the brain, um, but I'll leave it for another time. It's quite a really interesting subject, but a lot of like the repetition, um, that, that when they call the reptilian brain, that's just a program to keep us doing, you know, um, keep us doing the same thing over and over again. Basically how the brain acts is very opposite on how it should act. And, um, they also do that with the heart. The heart's got programs on top of it, so which gets the heart to act more like the brain. And uh, it's very weird, um, but yeah, interesting. But I'll keep you updated. Okay, thank you. You take care. Bye-bye.